Christ's peace, love, and protection be upon you all, friends. I was obviously on Facebook the other day, and I saw this quote from Pope John Paul II, and I read as this. He said, The rosary is our daily meeting, which neither I nor the Blessed Virgin Mary neglect. Really fantastic. You know, friends, that simple line, it states the power of the rosary in its most basic form. A moment in our day where we sit down or walk, depending on what way you want to pray the rosary, with the mother of Jesus Christ. A moment where Mary teaches me about Christ and comforts me in whatever predicament I might find myself in. Whatever I'm struggling with, whatever I'm confused with, she always, always sets my heart and my mind at ease. And today, friends, I thought it'd be, just, it'd be good just to mention three practical ways I have discovered Our Lady uh, through the rosary, the prayer of the rosary, is most influential. The first thing I've noticed is that the rosary is a great tool in helping us discern God's will in our individual lives and together as a community. I mean, as John Paul II said in that quote, it's a little meeting place between you and the mother of Jesus. I mean, folks, she's the greatest uh, guide and aid we can have this side of the grave in helping us stay very much on track of what it is that God wants us to do and perhaps how we go about it. And I suppose before I go any further, Mary does not replace the Holy Spirit. That has to be really clear. But what I have found she does do is help us get ready for the Holy Spirit. Uh, she helps open our hearts, open our minds to the Spirit who can work in and through us. To help us get to know and to deepen our relationship with the Lord Jesus, which of course is foundational for in readying ourselves to receive the Holy Spirit. And it's because I think of her intercession, I found Our Lady tremendous in helping me clarify very difficult situations, helping me discern as best I can how to go about doing something that can be difficult, particularly if I'm struggling, like I said, or how I might say this, or how I might approach this person about this, that, and the other. I found her particularly powerful in helping in those situations. She, 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 she's truly extraordinary, I think, in helping us understand a situation better get more of a wholesome view of the situation, finding a way out of it or even indeed around it, whatever the trouble may be. Secondly, uh, the rosary is also obviously a, a very powerful weapon against confusion, against confusion. Again, folks, it's a, mother where, a moment where the mother of God can very much help set our hearts on a straight and narrow, um, you know, perhaps set our hearts straight on what is, we're confused about, what, what's inside us that's been tainted due to influence that's not of God. And that's why the rosary, everybody, it was given to all of us in the first place, was to combat heresy. That's why the rosary was given to us by Our Lady, uh, to help us combat heresy, spiritual confusion, and willful dogmatic error. You know, those people in our world, and indeed in our church, who um, go out of their way to change something of Scripture or that has been set in stone by Christ's own words just to suit themselves. And I think the rosary helps to put a halt to all of that. I mean, folks, when you, when you pray the rosary, listen to the words of the Hail Mary, let alone the Our Father, or let alone the, 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 the creed at the very beginning. Listen to those words. Um, I mean, when you think about it, you're actively pondering the life of Christ with Our Lady you know, in her presence, which, of course, all of us so deeply grounded in Scripture. And that's what helps us, I think, on a straight and narrow, not to wander off on paths or avenues, you know, philosophies, ideologies, or dangerous vices that do not lead to salvation. And that very much leads us, I think, to my third point of the rosary. It's a most tremendous defense against real spiritual evil, against genuine satanic and our demonic attacks, especially their influence in our hearts and minds, because that's where the real battle takes place in here. Um, and I've also discovered the rosary our Lady, she's very powerful in rooting out what's in us that is not of God. What's in us that may have settled there for a long time, that we've allowed to be fed, that is not of God. Because, you know, when we pray the rosary, it's a call to call upon the presence of Mary herself. Uh, you know, seeking her to either defend you or help you in a fight. And she is the one who is perfect in holiness, perfect in love, perfect in compassion and also perfect in humility, which is a huge characteristic of Our Lady. And there are characteristics, everybody, that are astronomically opposed to the environment of hell and those that reside in that. 
I mean, like some of you know, since my ordination, um, one of the areas which I've had a, more than an amount of fair amount of work in is deliverance ministry. Um, you know, going to people's homes and literally casting out evil spirits that had ever been invited to be there or infested the place. And the poor families who are always, always deeply psychologically and spiritually affected. And I always, of course, use the rosary in preparation for such a thing like that. Um, in particular, I always ask Our Lady to go ahead of me to that house or to those people I'm going to meet for one simple reason, to dampen down any manifestation of the enemy that might arise when I go there. As I remember one, one case over across the way there, actually, I, um, I didn't ask Our Lady to go ahead of me. And of course, when I arrived there, and the first, as soon as I made a sign of the cross, ashtrays went flying across and off on the couch across the room. Things started manifesting, and even pressure against my head when I start to pray. All because I didn't get Our Lady to go and do her job in one sense of going ahead of me and sorting it out. So I could do my work, so I could be a priest for those people in that home. And of course, as soon as you ask Our Lady's intercession in the holy name of Jesus, all that stops like that. Thanks be to God. Um, she, that's why I find the rosary so amazing in stopping distraction and scare tactics and all that type of thing. So look friends, um, have that meeting place, and of course I would always encourage the rosary, have that meeting place every day, if you can, every day, uh, to sit with Our Lady and chat with her. Go through the prayer of the rosary with her. And personally, I think the, the power of the rosary is indispensable and vital in this time of trial, confusion, division, both within our culture, but also very much within our church, at the, our Lord's beloved church at the moment. As Our Lady, she will never steer you wrong.